it is about this game, but I don't know. Some something about it bugs me. I mean, I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but maybe it needs a stronger antagonist, or maybe it's the graphics, because the damn thing looks awful. I mean, even 15 years ago, these graphics, this wouldn't fly. But I think it's more than just superficial stuff. You know, it's it's not the kind of thing you can physically see, like a cat or pillar. I think it goes beyond that problem with this game. And again, it's not as bad as Detective Barbie, so... I guess it's a lesser of two weevils. It's Armorines! Project Storm! For the PlayStation. Hey, if you think bug puns are annoying, holy crap, you're gonna hate this game. And it starts with the title, Armorines, which is a play on Marines and armor. Armorines which isn't even a good pun. Caterpillar was better than that. And actually, now that I think about it, the gameplay is a pun too. It's the interactive version of an insect pun. Because in a pun, the sentence doesn't even matter, really. It's not what you're saying, it's, it's how you're saying it. It's the same thing with this piece of crap. It's a shooter, but that doesn't matter. It's, it's how it's doing this. And it's doing this by using all the wrong words, which is how you approach a pun. But in this case, there's no fun effect. Caterpillar is the funniest thing ever. This is just... It's actually encroaching on the, on the fun. So it was released in the year 2000. Maybe that's what Y2K was about, because this game's way worse than a broken computer. It was originally released for the Nintendo 64 in 1999, and since it was terrible and no one liked it, they brought it to the PlayStation a year later. Common sense, you guys. This is how things work. And then 15 years after that, it was sent to us by Zach from the Woodlands in Texas. The Woodlands. Not, not sure if that's a town or a general area. Maybe Zach doesn't want to be found, and if that's indeed the case, who can blame him? I mean, you send someone something like this, you, you cover your tracks. That's the smart move, Zach. Well played. Because if I could find you, there's no telling what I might do. I don't, and I don't know how long it would be till I did it. So, the first big hurdle of this game uh, actually kind of isn't even the game's fault. It's the controls. The standard setup has you moving with the buttons, and I know what you're thinking. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, it's also inverted, too. So, like, to walk backwards, you push the triangle button, which feels like it should be up in this wrong control scheme, but it's not. It's actually backward. And to walk, to walk forward, it's the cross, or X, which, look, all this makes about as much sense as it sounds. Fortunately, there's a lot of different control options, so you could tweak the hell out of it. But even then, it's still just, it's really awkward to play at first. And to be honest, I, I, I don't think I ever really got the hang of it. Every move I made was like, it was like one I had to think about first, which is not ideal in a shooter. And again, to be fair, I don't, I don't really blame the game. I mean, this was the year 2000. We thought a decimal point was going to end the world. What did, what did we know? But unfortunately, though, the fact that it's awkward as hell to play isn't even the game's main problem. That would at least be acceptable and even understandable if the game were well-designed. Our Marines is so far from well-designed it has to take a connecting flight and a taxi. Holy crap, this is just the worst game design ever! Your objectives are never clear. You never have any idea where you're going. I mean, there's no map! There's no map! F***ing Zelda had maps! And that was 1987! Women wore scrunchies in 1987! No maps here, though. Who needs them? Uh, how about everyone, Armorines? F***ing game tells you, hey, do this thing. But then the whole goddamn level looks the same, so you can't even tell where you are. Or where you've been. It's like Labyrinth. Only that movie had Jennifer Connelly. And Muppets. Armorines has blur. It's the blurriest blur since Song 2. You know, that blurry ugliness is a real problem when so much of the game is based on wandering around and looking at things and hoping you're doing it right. It's like being stuck inside the head of an artist, who probably shouldn't be an artist, and also ran out of every color except brown. It's the browniest thing since Little Debbie, and it's nuts, so it's fitting. It's a headache-inducing experience, the act of looking at this game and trying to play it. It's just the worst, and it's not very well made either. There are glitches, the frame rate's inconsistent, the bugs get stuck in the walls. I mean, I know bugs get stuck in walls, but that's not, that's not what I mean. That's not what, that's not what anyone means. I played this with God mode on, because struggling through this crap without it on 
seemed like something I'd do only once I've completely given up, and I'm not there yet as a person. I still wake up in the morning, and I try to be positive, and I hope for the best, even if I fully expect the worst. And I even try to be positive about this crap. Because look, I love the idea of a shooter about bugs. That's why I picked it up in the first place. Shooters about bugs, that's f***ing rad. And some of the character Myra designs look okay too. She's wearing more clothing than I'd prefer, but hey, look, life is about compromise. I wake up in the morning and accept that. I embrace it. Which is exactly why I'm using God Mode. Because if I have to play this, you can deal with God Mode. Trust me, you play this and you'll be using the Off Mode. You should just turn it off. Look, it could have been interesting with better level design, graphics, maybe some meaner bugs. But let's be honest, it would also be better if it were just a better game. But it's not. It's Armorines Project Swarm. It's a game full of bugs.